so yeah, I think one of the benefits of donating through a platform like DonorC is that you're giving um, you're you're giving just directly to the people who are most well connected to the the actual issues. They're not they're not detached. They're not sitting in an air conditioning room. Mm-hmm. They're the people who like are are face to face with it every single day. Right. And for anyone who's like for anyone who's like face to face seeing extreme poverty, it's a totally different. It, that's the only way to like truly understand it. There's mm-hmm. no way to understand it by just like reading about it in a book or seeing a movie about it. It's just, mm-hmm. it's like a, it's like a different planet, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. So in, in Haiti back in 2010, uh, after, right after the earthquake happened, there was $13 billion that was sent over to, uh, over to Haiti mm-hmm. after the earthquake. And, and these are organizations like the Clinton foundation, you know, that's re- that's like all over your Facebook feed right now. Right. Right. Um, and then there's like the red cross and, I don't know the speci- uh, like no one knows specifics, right? It's really easy to just like be fraudulent. It's really easy to like not be transparent with how money gets spent. Mm. But the money was not spent well. Like the money according even if you talk to the people in Haiti, the people on the ground in Haiti, they said the money didn't get to us and in fact the money actually um was like it hurt the country. Like <laughs> it was invested so poorly that it actually caused more harm to the country than good. Wow. Oh. Um, and that's, so that's my example in Haiti. Like if you gave money back in 2010, I'm sorry, but your donation was most likely wasted. And mm. if you gave money to Hurricane Matthew, um, most recently, there's a chance it was used well, but mm-hmm. when I was over there, I didn't see it. You know, it, I don't, I don't know like what's going on. I don't know how these billions of dollars are being wasted, but mm-hmm. they are. And Malawi, um, I, you know, I lived there from 2013 to 2016 and, let's see in 2000 at the end of 2013 i believe or maybe it was 2014 in 2014 i'm sorry uh there was uh this huge government scandal called Cashgate, and basically it was found out that the majority of foreign aid that was coming into the country was just being pocketed by government officials by almost all like almost all of the government officials and so it wasn't like a few like people on the side this was like a really entrenched thing in the government Mm. um and people were very upset. There was, I, I, I actually, on um, one of my podcasts, I interviewed a guy who was shot in the face three times because he was the one who exposed Cashgate. Hmm. So, um, he was, I mean, this was like a really bad situation. And the, like, I think what makes it so unbelievable is that the people who, the money was supposed to go to things like the hospital or, or providing maize, uh, providing food for hungry people in these like remote villages during mm-hmm. the hungry season, mm-hmm. and like that's who they were stealing from. They were stealing money from like the neediest people in the entire world, wow. and they're keeping it for themselves. 